All right, ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Emma's maid of honour, Claire. celebrating the most stunning bride and my very special friend Emma. Emma and I met back in 1995 at the Mask School of Irish Dance as very young and energetic eight and nine year olds and I'm very proud that our friendship has stood the test of time and has spanned over 20 years. That in itself is quite incredible but even more incredible when you consider that during those 20 years even though we never attended the same schools or had the luxury to see each other all the time our friendship weathered, survived and absolutely thrived through the most challenging chapters of growing up. And our friendship got through the flightiness of being pre-teens and the angsty and highly developmental teenage years. We remained close as young adults, not knowing exactly where our own lives were heading, but knowing for sure that we wanted to be in each other's. And now as full-grown adults, despite time being scarce and precious, we are closer than we have ever been, and I believe our friendship always has been and always will be unbelievably special. There are a few things about you, Emma, that everyone here will already know. You are extremely beautiful. And I mean, just look at you tonight. <laughs> Emma, you're a stunner every day, but right now you're simply radiant. And you're very elegant and stylish. At work, it is commonly whispered that you look like you're walking the runway as you strut your stuff over the kitchen <laughs> to make a cup of tea. I can't confirm this, but I firmly believe that you were actually born in heels. <laughs> And you're extremely intelligent, and this has seen you make huge strides in the workplace and rising success. More importantly though, you are a loyal, dedicated, and very supportive friend. I've always known this about you, but this has been especially evident lately, as I've been planning my own wedding whilst you have been planning yours. Emma, not only have you been an amazing friend throughout the whole process, but you also took it upon yourself, the role of wedding planner, and consultant, counsellor, researcher, but most of all, personal therapist. <laughs> you also made it a lot more fun than it could ever have been planning alone. It has been such a blessing to have you beside me the whole time, and I'm very grateful and thankful to have your love and support through such a significant part of my life. To add to the list of things that you are to me, I can now also add that you're my boss. <laughs> years ago I had the opportunity to begin working with you and working not only with but for a good friend is often ill-advised and potentially risky but thankfully we didn't listen to that advice. I can honestly say that working with you has only truly strengthened and built upon our already great friendship and this is a testament to the beautiful and kind nature that you naturally have. These are all things that I love about you but what I love most about you is how you make me laugh. Oh, you make me laugh. <laughs> you have such a quick wit and the most wicked sense of humour, and it needs to be said, together you and I are quite a strange pair. <laughs> I believe all the Met Cash ladies can attest to this. Sometimes you and I live in our own strange little world and have more in-jokes than any other friendship that I know of. What is most special about this, aside from how hilarious we think we are, <laughs> is that we can be our 100% authentic selves around each other, and that is a very refreshing quality in a friendship. We've laughed together in the good times and comforted each other in the troublesome times, but most importantly, Emma, I will love you dearly at all times. And Brendan, I think you would agree with me when I say that you're a really lucky man to have found someone like Emma. But I know for sure that Emma has actually hit the jackpot to find a man like you. Do you have a really calming and comfortable presence about you that makes it really easy to be around? And your down-to-earth nature makes you a delight to talk to. I find it difficult to remember what Emma's life was like before you came into it because you have such a seamless and solid relationship that it's very clear that you belong with each other. Most of all, Brendan, you just make Emma so happy. 
and I feel confident knowing that my beautiful friend will be taken care of always and loved endlessly by you. So, Emma and Brendan, here is to you both and to the bright and wonderful future that you do have together. Cheers. Thanks very much, Claire, and congratulations. That was a beautiful speech, straight from the heart. Give her a big round of applause. Thank you. So, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to take another short break. This time we're going to be serving dessert, and we're making our way towards the two fathers. We'll be making... All right. I have a speech, but I won't read it just yet. I think that's it. Dan's filming with wine, so I'll bring it up. Thank you, Mike. This is my fault. <laughs> Where do you start? Oh my God. Well, I've been there, uh, Linda and I have been lucky enough to have three marriages in their life uh, with their three children. Two of them being exceptional. Uh, but, you know, they've been wonderful, absolutely wonderful. Uh, I can't fault them at all. But uh, as, as a father and having a daughter, the last two are all males, of course, so they're wonderful. Well, I learned to find out what it was like to be a father of a, a daughter and what that experience was all like. And it was uh, quite exceptional, I can tell you. Um, when you sit in a room with um, eight women, <laughs> doing their hair and makeup, and you know, my, God. <laughs> well, my makeup only takes me about five minutes to do, you know, uh, five hours or so. <clears throat> Uh, not to mention sitting to a movie, what was it called? Brides or something? Bride Brides. It was really, really worrying because I actually enjoyed it. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I really don't know what that was all about. Anyway, but it was, it was nice to watch um, and go through all those experiences. And uh, yeah, so, and watch, especially your mother, maybe didn't know so much, but she was um, totally, totally wrapped in the whole, the whole thing with it. And then so much to it. But anyway, um, moving on. Like I said, I've had about 12 wines. I never, I don't drink actually. <laughs> so whatever happens, happens. I'm not, I'm not going to, oops. I'm not going to apologise for what comes out on this mic. <laughs> but uh, what a wonderful day. I mean, I know everyone um, the test of that. And when I first saw uh, Emma, well, I mean, I know Emma's always been beautiful to me. And when I saw her in a dress, it's just... Uh, I really, I understood by all the fusses about the royal weddings, you know, when you see a princess coming down the aisle with the prince and everything else, and I thought, my God, you know, is that what it's all about? Because that's what it felt like to me, because she looked like a princess to me. Aww. And um, <laughs> when I saw Brendan, I thought, well, man, what a perfect couple. You know? yeah. Prince, princess, you know. The brides were beautiful, you know, they really were. And funny. Sorry to say. Yeah. You guys, handsome as hell. What can I say to that? Um, I get my speech in a minute, funny enough. I watch a bit, funny enough. <laughs> but yeah, but I mean, what a wonderful day. You've got to admit, I mean, I prayed for the sunshine, we got it. Thank God for that. It was a beautiful day, beautiful reception. I wasn't even nervous walking, believe me. Uh, she had plenty of women now, I knew I'd do that. <laughs> anyway, Linda's daughter, that's Emma then. She's my daughter. <laughs> so I walked around that corner, I thought I'm going to fall over, I'm going to see all these people staring, but no, I didn't actually. I just said to Emma, I said, suck it up, suck it up, you'll be right, you'll be right. <laughs> I was really sort of helping myself, I think, you know, I was very nervous. But it, was, it was magic, captured magic. You know, I'll, 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 I'll take it with me for the rest of my life, it was wonderful. Um, I'm glad I didn't look at the little crime because I would have lost it. So anyway, well, she looked like an absolute princess. I have to say, the dress was magic. Um, and I could see Brendan in the way he was looking at her. Oh, I saw you shaking, mate. Don't worry about that. <laughs> I was with you. Uh -huh. Totally. But anyway, I'll get to this. Just to see like that. Mm. It is, it has to be, because you can't see nothing. You see this big white, it looks like nothing to me. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, well basically, you know, get to the formalities of it all. And just welcome to everybody here, all the friends and family, and thank you for coming. It's just been so much to, to Emma and Brendan, I know, I know it is, um, and to all of us. 
Um, and I honestly, really, what do you think? Wasn't that a beautiful dress? Just give, just give, give them a hand. Yeah. That's made a mess of my speech now, hasn't it? So, <laughs> anyway, as, as, as parents, Belinda and I can be any prouder than what we are. Um, I mean, I know we did the best we possibly could, but I mean, a lot of it is to do with Emma as well. And um, we're just, just so proud of it. We can't be any prouder. Um, I would also like to officially welcome Brendan to the family and to his lovely family as well. You know, so it's been a pleasure knowing him. Hopefully we'll get to know him for another hundred years or so. <laughs> um, you know I love speeches, don't you? <coughs> so Belinda and I just like to wish Ben and Emma and Emma. I'm trying not to call you Belinda again, okay, but I do you know what I mean. <laughs> like <a> red wine. <laughs> <laughs> You'll see another side and I don't even know myself. Um, <laughs> I'd just like to wish you good health, good luck, and a wonderful family of your own to share all of that with. So, um, from Belinda and I, I'd just like to give you a little Irish, an Irish blessing, and just so many of us could have. And it's just funny that you say that you're engaged on St. Patrick's Day, is that correct? You're engaged, first kiss. First kiss. Oh. It's the start of all the time, okay? <laughs> but I, it's just a short one, but I think it's poignant. It says, for, for each petal of the shamrock, this brings a wish your way. Good health, good luck, and happiness for today and every day. So I'd just like to say um, congratulations and welcome to the family and happy days. Cheers.